Hello, my name is Todal and I'm the owner of Rukin Metal. We are here at the Vitrum Fair in Milano and it's the last day. The fair has been pretty good to us. We have sold one machine group to France and a single machine to Greece. Adding to that we have some 70 leads after three days ranging from very very hot to request for information. At this fair we have been showing the new MB840 which uh, features a special bending head that bends any profile except a profile with wing. That means that without changing any tools or doing or any actions from the operator, you can jump from 12 mm aluminium to 16 mm Termex to 10 mm TGI. It's fully automatic. The second feature is the magazine, the AM14, which we have shown before. It is uh, a full automatic magazine. The operator's job is mainly to remove the finished frames. When it's finished a series of 12mm, it will put the 12mm back again in the magazine and pick up the next profile it needs, put it into the machine and start the production automatically. We have also been exhibiting two desk and fillers. On my way, I guess, the DF502 that will drill the holes in the profile and fill it with desk and plug it with new tire. This machine is independent of the type of profile you are using. You can put stainless, steel, aluminium, thermal, plastic, whatever you like. The second desk controller we have been displaying is the DF102. This is meant for one open corner. It also has two heads and it's quick but it's one open. The second thing that we have been displaying here which is a new part is the laser printer. This is a tool we believe will be coming strong in the coming years. It means no more consumables. It means uh, drastic reduction in maintenance. Generally speaking, it should be wiping the lens once a week and that should be all. Lifetime of the unit should be approximately 100,000 hours, which means if you run three shifts, uh, it should be running for something like 18.6 years or something like that. It can print on any material. We have it here printed on plastic, galvanized, normal aluminium, plastic again, stainless steel, this is the Swiss spacer. So you can see all the prints are coming pretty good through. Now that's it. Boom. <laughs> now we can adopt something afterwards.